Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about degrees of curvature. Degree of curvature. 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 Degree of curvature. Degree of curvatures are, if you remember from the last several videos, <clears throat> if you have some sort of a, actually, let me draw out one more. If you have some, if you have some arc, let's say you had some curve, started here, ended here, okay? And this is the curve you're following. The radius lines actually create an angle called delta, okay? That delta, along with, if you know one of the sides, can give us the length of this curve. So, in degree of curvature, what we're actually trying to figure out is um, instead of having a length L, instead of having this length L, let's degree of curvatures are only used for lengths um, equal to 100, okay? So, and there's two types of degrees of curvatures. There's an arc, there's one for arc, and there's ones for chord. And remember, for arc, you start here, you end here, and it's it's this distance you follow. It's it's along the curve, okay? It's from here, you go along the curve. For chord, however, remember, chord is is the distance from one end of the circle, one point on the circle, to the other point on the circle, and it's that. And degree of curvatures are only used for lengths of 100. So 100. This red is 100. This red is 100. Okay. Arcs are generally used on freeways, highways, um, and and if a problem, you know, asks you to figure out what the degree of curvature is for an, uh, you know, this this curve, and they don't tell you, you know, if it's an arc or chord, you just assume that it's arc. Arcs always the default. Okay, and Chords are usually used for, you know, train tracks, uh, railways, um, that sort of stuff. So, let's, let's actually work with arcs. The degree of curvature is this interior angle. I'm going to call it D, D as in dog. Degree with a little uh, degree sign on it, okay? And degree of curvatures only apply to curves that are a length of 100 feet or chords that are a length of 100 feet, okay? So this is R, this is R, degree of curvature, okay? So to figure out the degree of curvature, we can actually use the formulas we've been using, or we have derived from the other, other videos, okay? So in order to figure out uh, what the degree is here, or the degree of curvature for an arc is, you simply do, uh, let's, let's relate the circumference and the length and the interior angle or the degree of curvature and the 360 degrees of a circle. So we can say that 2 pi r is equal to, or is, is to 100 as this 360 is to degree of arc. Okay? And using this formula, we can figure out the radius, or we can figure out the degree of arc given one or the other. Okay? And for chords, well, it's the same thing. We actually derived an equation, I believe, in the last video or the video before. Not sure. But we said that the long chord is equal to 2r sine of delta over 2. Okay? In this case, our long chord is always 100 feet, 2r sine, and instead of delta, now it's a degree of chord, over 2. Okay? So degree of curvatures are only used um, to figure out the radius for curves, for an arc that has a curve length of 100, or for chords that have a chord length of 100. Okay? And these are the two formulas we can use. Um, this one for the arc, 
and this one for the chord.